hello everyone i am going to discuss how to find hybridizations in the octahedral complexes particularly from 3d series so uh, before this you should know the complex and particularly the complex of a 3d series and this series is starting from the scandium and which is end with the what the zinc so the complexes of scandium with uh, to the word zinc they form the six coordinated complex that is called octahedral complex and in that we can find a within a uh, or within a few time so we can find out the structure of or uh, find out the hybridization find out the pair number of electrons okay magnetism these four properties can easily find out within a or uh, within a few time so i am zamir sheik welcome you all so now let's move to the type of complexes of the 3d series so octahedral complex means there are the six ligands which are coordinate to the central metal ion and the structure becomes a like this so such a kind of what complex are said to be what the octahedral complexes okay so this is the uh, picture or this is the diagram which showing the octahedral system and this four ligands are make a one plane okay and this two ligands which are present at the axial side okay now uh, this comp this ligand have of two types according to the uh, the type of it or nature of the ligand so the some ligands are called the strong field ligand and some ligands are called the weak field ligand and based on that so we have two types of what complexes one is called the high spin complex second is called the low spin complex now uh, the strong field ligand always built or always form a strong field the weak the low spin complex and the weak field ligand so whenever the weak field ligands are there they develop the uh, high spin complex so this complex is called the high spin complex and these are called the a uh, low spin complex okay and low spin means generally the all the electrons in a paired position okay so the electrons are paired like this fashion while the electrons are present like this fashion so likewise we can explain the high spin and low spin now we will be moved to the we have two different types of complexes of 3d series first is a low spin complex second is called the high spin complex so what we can do for finding the hybridization finding the structure of at any octahedral complex of particular 3d series so firstly find out the oxidation state of that central metal ion so first of all we have to find out the oxidation state of our central metal ion for example the complex is given here this is fe cn6 okay and the charge of this complex for example four negative okay so first of all we can consider this is iron this is for x that is we have to find out the oxidation state of iron so consider the x and there are six cyanide ligands are there each cyanide is a is a structure as like this cn negative so there are what the six negative ions are there six negative charge are there is equal to what the minus four so the six uh, uh, negative will be converts to what the six positive so the equal will the answer will be what the plus two so here the plus two means so after finding the oxidation state what we can do now so this is the first step to find out the oxidation state of the central metal ion after finding the electrons or after finding the oxidation state so we can arrange the electrons in the system so you know that the so for example the now the oxidation state is plus 2 so here for example iron is a 26 atomic number of iron is 26 so the configuration should be what 3d6 4s2 argon 3d6 4s2 now this 3d6 4s2 this is a neutral uh, configuration of your iron so now the iron is in plus 2 so basically the two electron which is uh, lost by this process and the configuration or the oxidation state will be equivalent to what you are 3d6 only okay and now after that so you get the configuration so this is the, your electronic or this is the system now this is your system okay so whenever you find out the uh, anything from the complex first is in coordination chemistry first we have to identify the system okay by oxidation state and after arranging the electron all this thing okay now this is the step two after finding the system particularly for example here d6 system is there now the d6 system can form two types of complex high spin complex and what low spin complex high spin complex nothing but the in which weak field ligand is present and in which what the strong field ligand is present 
now whenever high spin system is there or whenever wakefield ligand is there we have to or we are obeying the uh, hans rule hans rule for what the multiplicity and here we are violate the what we are not obey the hans rule so we are not obey the what hans rule okay these are the two condition this is the step number 3 and based on that for example iron in d6 state so we can uh, we can have two different electronic configuration now this iron plus 2 that is in d6 configuration have what the two different types of what complexes now we are explaining the high low spin complex but i just can uh, just give the another example for this one and now for that the high spin complex particularly here so the electronic arrangement will be so the six electrons are arranged like this fashion 1 2 3 Four, five, uh, and are the six one is a paired. Okay, and here the pairing is start. This is for first three electron, then four, five, and six. Okay, here all the electrons are paired in high spin. So here magnetic moment is zero, and here for that there are the four are unpaired electrons. So according to the uh, n into n plus one, so the, the, uh, the, there is a formula for that calculating the magnetic moment. Here the four are unpaired electrons. Okay, and that's why this complex are called the low spin, and these are called the high spin complex. Here the spin is equal to zero, and here the spin is equal to what the two. So that's why this called the high spin and low spin complex. Okay, this these are the steps to find out the system. Okay, so first of all, find out the oxidation state. After that, find the uh, the system that is d1 to d10. It may be anyone, and then after that, look at the electron whether they are they are high spin or they are low spin. Okay, and on this case, now lastly, uh, we are moving to the your trick to find out this uh, oxidation state. Uh, this habit, and here is the chart where I explain all these things. So after find out the oxidation state, you will get the system that is from d1 to d10. You know that. D1, D2, and D3. So this type of the complexes where high spin and low spin are equal. That is, weak field and strong field ligands are equal. They have the same electronic arrangement. While the D8, D9, and D10, okay, also have the same. So basically, D1, D2, D3, D8, D9, and D10 both have the same type of the arrangement. Okay, that is, there will be no differentiate. We cannot differentiate uh, whether this high spin or low spin complex. Okay, the question is for D4, D5, D6, and D7. Okay, and after looking this. So for D1, D2, D3, if the complex is high spin, then hybridization should be D2 sp3. Also for low spin, it is again the same. That is D2 sp3. For D4, D5, and D6 and D7, these are the four complexes. If high spin is there, the hybridization should be sp3 D2. For low spin, it is a D2 sp3. And lastly, for D10, uh, D9, uh, D8, these are the three complexes where it shows the high spin sp3 D2 and low spin uh, sp3 D2. Okay, so it's a very simple to find out. The oxidation state of what any kind of what complex. Okay. Now, lastly, I summarize uh, with the, by using the two example for one for uh, uh, high spin and one for what the low spin complex. Okay. Let's move to the example. So, look at these two example. First example is iron aqua complex. Second is iron cyano complex. Okay. Now, in a first complex, the oxidation state our water is neutral ligand, so the oxidation state of iron should be plus two. If the plus two is there, the the term should be three d six, and you know that it is an Uh, high spin state, okay. Uh, basically, it is a uh, uh, high spin, basically weak field ligand. So the electronic arrangement should be what? So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this will be a five, and this will be a six, okay. And that means this is a 3D system, okay. Your 4s becomes empty, and 4p also becomes empty. So these four electrons are what unpaired. They maintain as unpaired system, okay. And uh, the utilization of uh, this ligand, particularly water ligand, will be donate the electron toward the A four s orbital, then four p orbital, and then what the next d. So basically, so the hybridization of this system is called the sp three d two. That's why uh, the in in case of what the the weak system or the weak field again. So the hybridization of this complex is what sp three d two. Now take the same complex of iron with the same oxidation state. Find out the oxidation state. It will be again plus two. After finding the oxidation state, now the system is d six. And the electronic arrangement should be like this. So there are six electrons are there, and you can arrange this six electron like this fashion. So these are the two electron, these are the two electron, these are the two electron. Now these are the six electron. And now here uh, D is empty. Now 4s is there, 4p is there. So utilization of these orbital by using the six cyanide ligand. Each cyanide will donate the pair of electron. So basically, the so the structure will be what uh, D two S P three. Now look at this one. So go to the back first of all. Okay, you will see 
uh, the iron in a dipositive system that is in D6 in high spin. So this is an iron D6. Okay, D6 in high spin show sp3 D2 and D6 in low spin it show the word D2 sp3. Okay, this is all about what the uh, finding the hybridization particular for 3D series. Okay, this is very uh, interesting type of what uh, the to finding the hybridization. Okay, you can get the four different types of what information from that. So first of all we can find out the uh, first of all we can find out uh, the hybridization. Okay. Then after that we can find out uh, the structure easily. Then we can find out the magnetism that is magnetic moment. Okay, and after that we can find out the nature of the complexes. So if the complex is D2SP3, it becomes an inert uh, inner covalent character. Uh, it's called the covalent character or inner orbital complex. We can call the inner orbital. Okay, simply if the D2SP3 is there, then it's called the inner orbital complex. And whenever sp3 d2 is there it's called the orbit uh, outer orbital configuration okay so likewise so we can decide this parameter these are basically the application of valence bond theory okay so thank you for watching this video if you are satisfied with the content and you like share and subscribe so stay connected thank you